So, uh, to be, as I said, very original, I'm going to start with a poem about poetry, which is called The Sometimes and Forevers of Poetry. Words come out straight from my soul, like a flow I can't delay sometimes. Many other times I just play, isolate what I feel and perform, overacting my moods. Poetry is in catching the bliss that each soul, whether knowingly or not, irradiates. The rest of the world passes by, and so does time, whereas love in these verses will stay. Um, then I move to theme number two, which is the technical features, so to say, in, uh, in my poetry. Um, I use uh, metrics, uh, I use rhymes, uh, and I use music. Uh, so even in, when I don't use metrics and then I use rhymes, I do use music, meaning that I try to give a rhythm to what I write. Uh, there again, I have uh, something to tell you, an anecdote. A professor some time ago I gave in my book, uh, and the professor of, English, of literature, of French literature, that might be the problem. And uh, he, he read it and he said, uh, uh, well, lovely, you know what, the, the problem is that nobody writes poems like that today because they are understandable. Okay, I said, uh, well, too bad. <laughs> Um, so the, my purpose is not to write something that nobody can understand but the writer. Uh, so if, if there is a purpose, but that, that was another funny experience. And this is called a Letter to Lisa About Men. Um, okay, the book is called The Love of a Woman. So of course it is a rather feminine approach to this uh, very banal subject, which is love. Um, and why Lisa? Because I've always thought that uh, if I had the child too late by now, my, her name would have been Lisa, because I like a song by Cat Stevens, and uh, you couldn't care less, but so at least you know. Um, okay. Uh, so a letter to Lisa about men. Dearest Lisa, if you were here, I would tell you about the fear of a lifetime spent in pain, given all and with no gain. I loved men in every way, waited on the women tray, dedicating my whole heart to the dream of our start. There were moments of deep joy, no more barriers to deploy. Then the silence of their void, all I had hoped I could avoid. The two or three I loved that way brought to me the same decay. Quick clap downs that made no sense when our bond grew more intense. They will give you a magic night. You will think you've found your night. The next morning, there'll be frost, and you will think that you're a ghost. If you assume that the sex act is a sort of tacit pact, you will painfully find out that men don't bring love about. Having warned you as above, let me tell you now about love. Let me warn you about your shell. It won't save you from that hell. On the contrary, in the shell, to keep out what pain may sell, you live out the odds of love, of all troubles, the sweet dove. Killing feelings is no cure to the sorrow you'd endure. Killing feelings kills your life. It is the undercover knife. For some men, you won't be afraid. One or some will love you and stay. If life offers you that dance, give eternity a chance. 